Hi, my name is Dave Pinchkowski, and I'm going to be tying a Bad Hair Day Sculpin slash Gobi for you today. We're going to be using a Daiichi 2461 1-0 for the hook, and we're going to be using Extra Select Craft Fur, we're going to be using Flashaboo and Olive and Copper, and Olive Ice Dub, maybe a little bit of Angel Hair, and UTC thread 140 or 210. Key thing is, is you don't have to go small on these threads. Just you just want to bind the hooks down because they're synthetic, and they you need a lot of pressure to compress them. So first things first, do the tail. When you're working with this craft fur, you want to make sure you go all the way down, work your way down into the, the base of the material so you get a nice long tail. You want to take advantage of that nice long material. Thread on the hook. There we go. Key thing on this first clump of fur, you always want to get rid of the under fur on this. Promotes better action of the fly can move around a lot better. Bind that down pretty good. Do another clump. use the copper. Stagger the flashable. The Kelly Green. You can either take your thread and taperize it, or take your scissors and taperize it, or you can tie it in on top short, half the length of it, and then fold back the longer. Okay. There's your tail. Start working on the body. Now we're going to use a, a larger piece, probably about the size of a pencil. You can advance your thread up about the butts, otherwise, you can have way too many clumps. You want to work with about th three, maybe four clumps on this long shank hook. Leave the butt sections in the uh, under fur in on the butts. Grabs the butts and just wind down a couple of loose threads wraps and then you know, let it spin a little bit. Distribute evenly. Make sure none of this stuff's really falling out. Kind of a key thing here now is you just bring your thread forward and wrap directly in front of the clump. Don't bind the clump down. Unk it. Nice thing about tying flash in front of a clump like this is it gives the, the flash way more action. Now we're going to tie in another clump. What I like to do is grab it and kind of twist it a little bit and then I can keep it away from cutting my finger. Advance the thread a little bit. Just pushing the, the butts over the center of the hook. Okay, you can add a little bit of angel hair. One thing I
thing I like to do with the bad hair days is each clump I like to tie some type of flash in some sort, whether it's angel hair or flashable or lateral scale or whatever. It just lights the fly up. Funking, you can see it's just distributing the materials and the, all the flash around the hook. So the fly is essentially tied in the round, which is kind of cool. Tie one more clump, and then we'll have room, make sure you have room for a nice goby sculpin head. Scrub olive or peacock, whatever you like. Basically, put that over the hook, tie it down in a clump. Nothing fancy here, just however you can get it on the hook. to it. Get where you want it. Now we're going to mark it up. Start out with a brown marker. Just kind of get it so it's modeled. You know, Kevin uses a lot of barred rabbit, barred uh, Marabou and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to do what he's doing. And I find that the magic marker works pretty good. So now you're, I'm just putting some barring on it. And the, mark, the magic marker on these iridescent materials really has a nice coloration to it. It gives it a nice sparkle. I'm going to go over with some black. And this will give it almost, the top of the fly will almost be like peacock. A peacock green now. Thunk. 
there it is. Bad Hair Days slash Gobi. Coming to a river near you.